Konnichiwa. Welcome to the Uzumaki Garage. When restoring a car, you should never throw out something that's damaged. Because if you do, you might find out that brand new or even second-hand replacement parts are not available. Sometimes restoring the part that you have is your only option. I have a lot of car parts on order for my projects, but because of shipping delays, I couldn't make the video I was planning to make this week. But I wanted to keep the ball rolling on the Integra, so I looked for little jobs I could do while waiting for parts to arrive. I noticed the passenger seat hinge cover is damaged, but unfortunately that part is no longer available new. So in today's video, I'll show you how to repair it. This plastic part on the passenger seat neatly hides the seat's hinge. It's bent out of shape and has a crack on the top and bottom. Someone probably got caught on it when climbing out from the rear seats. This round bit covers the seat back pivot point, but because the cover is cracked, it has lost all of its structural strength and it's been out of shape, so it's probably been caught over and over. I'm gonna remove the cover, straighten it out with a heat gun, fix the cracks, and reinforce the back so it stays straight and neat against the seat. I slid the seat forward on its rails and tilted the seat back to the forward position. First, I'll remove the three clips which hold the cover on. I'm using a pin punch to gently push the pins out of the clips. Once the pin is removed, the clip can be released from the seat's frame. Removing the second pin. They're a bit hard to see as their textured end matches the cover perfectly. Removing the third pin with a skinny flat blade screwdriver. And now I'm removing the cover. I'm using a heat gun to help the cover remember what shape it was originally. Warm up the plastic, straighten it out wearing leather gloves, hold it straight while it cools. I'm wearing nitrile gloves now and cleaning with acetone. Be careful not to breathe the acetone or get it on your skin. Neaten the cracks with sandpaper, scuff up the plastic with sandpaper and Scotch-Brite. Blow down with compressed air and some final adjustments with the heat gun. I'm trying to get it as straight as possible before applying the Q-Bond. I'm using Q-Bond to repair the cracks and also to reinforce the back of the cover to make it stronger than before. I line up the cracks and add a tiny amount of adhesive and hold it straight until the glue sets. Once it's set straight, I add the black cube on powder and adhesive to fill any cracks and increase the cover's strength. Be sure to follow the cube on directions and safety precautions. It can easily burn your fingers and you really don't want to breathe it into your lungs. It looks a bit rough on the back, but now it's very straight and much stronger than before. It looks pretty good, but it still needs a tiny bit more Q-Bond on the outside. But with hindsight, I should have just left it alone. But aiming for perfection, I sprinkled on some more powder and dabbed on some more adhesive. And then I trimmed back the excess. Cleaned with alcohol. And I used a cotton bud to dab on some paint just on the repaired area, because I didn't want to spray the whole cover. I'm reinstalling the cover onto the Recaro seat pushing the clips back into place, and finally push in the three locking pins. And from this angle, you can now see the cover sits nice and snug against the seat, looking almost as good as new. So that turned out really well. Another little repair job crossed off the list for the Integra. If you haven't tried Cubon before, Check it out next time you need to repair hard plastic. Thanks for sticking around till the end and hopefully I'll have something a bit more interesting for next week's video. I'm trying to get a new video out every weekend. So if you want to follow the progress on the Integra or my other JDM cars, click subscribe and notify. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <music>